Today I want to talk about Prada, the Italian fashion house that's listed in Hong Kong. We first wrote about them last summer when we explained that we thought they were underdepreciating, inflating their margins and paying excessive dividends. In short, they were using creative accounting to obscure their business reality. Since then, the stock price has halved and the dividends been cut. However, we still don't think the market really understands their business reality. Before I go on, I must remind you, we're regulated by the Hong Kong SFC and we're not allowed to make investment recommendations. So please don't consider any of what's about to follow as investment advice. Notwithstanding this, we think there are a few key issues that anybody looking at Prada should consider. We'll review the company using our standard governance, accounting and peer performance approach. First, governance. The company is still tightly controlled by the founding family. And this is why they seem to pay out such a high dividend yield. Normally, we'd be happy with that. The problem is, we think they're actually paying excessive dividends. In other words, paying out more than the company can afford. It looks to us as if this is preventing them from reinvesting in the brand and therefore undermining the company's future. Next, accounting risks. Now they're talking about growth. The problem that we have is that their lease liabilities per store are falling. Now this would make sense if revenues were expected to fall or stores were of less quality, but it doesn't make any sense when you're talking about growth. Moreover, inventory days continue to climb. They're now up towards their peak. We suspect the reason for this is they're refusing to write down inventory because they don't want to take the hit on profits, which would mean they have to cut the dividend. Where it really starts to show up is in pre-financing cash flow. So operating cash flow is positive, business cash flow is positive, but pre-financing cash flow is negative. This is because despite flat revenues, CapEx is still running far in excess of depreciation suggests to us that they're just simply under-depreciating because their repair and maintenance capex is much higher than their depreciation. Peer performance. Times have been quite tough in the luxury sector over the last couple of years, but Prada's suffered more than most. Its same-store sales have been flat, its margins have declined, and that's even with such low write-off levels of its inventory. Peer performance. The last two years have been tough in the luxury sector, particularly in China but Prada's had it far worse than its peers. Same still sales have been fairly flat, but margins have fallen, and that's even with weakening provisioning policies. In other words, net income has been down about 12%, but it would have been far worse had they used the same provisioning policies they used but three years ago. To conclude, successful retail is all about keeping control of your brand and making sure you don't have too much inventory. We are concerned that Prada's bloating and will find it very difficult to recover either margins or turnover without taking some serious write-offs. We see little upside for shareholders. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Thank you very much for your time.